the three question is today's topic three questions is written by the famous russian realist fiction writer leo tolstoy he is best known for his works like anna karenina and war and peace i hope you have read something of him before but if you haven't do find out what you can about him okay so leo tolstoy uh, was a master of realistic fiction the story that you have the three questions has also been taken from a collection of short stories the name is what men live by and other tales okay now what is this story this story is in the form of a parable okay this story is in the form of a parable it concerns a king who wants to find answers to three questions which he believes are the most important thing for him to find out okay now the three questions are what we will find out as we start the text so take out your books everybody okay so the king wants to find three questions concerning life what are the three questions what is the right time to begin something which people should he listen to what is the most important thing for him to do okay so what does he do he consults wise men to find out the answers of these questions but their answers are so diverse that he is not satisfied with them okay he is not satisfied with what they say as a result of this he goes to a hermit who lives in a forest all alone but there's a condition while visiting the hermit he does not meet any person who is in any kind of position of power so the king disguises himself as a commoner and then he goes to visit the hermit okay so let us begin the story the three questions the thought came to a certain king that he would never fail if he knew three things these three things were what is the right time to begin something underline which people should he listen to what is the most important thing for him to do so these three questions he wanted to know and he wanted people to tell him this the king therefore sent messengers throughout his kingdom promising a large sum of money to anyone who would answer these three questions so he promised that i will give you a large sum of money if you are able to give me the answer to these questions okay i will give you a large sum of money if you can tell me correctly the answer to these questions many wise men came to the king but they all answered his questions differently means many people who were wise okay who knew a lot of things about life philosophers doctors then many other men who came to him they said answers to his question but the answers that they gave him were very diverse were very different in reply to the first question some said the king must prepare a time table and then follow it strictly okay so they said that you should maintain a proper time table only then you can understand when to begin something correctly remember the first question that he had asked what is the right time to begin something so the wise men told him that do keep a time table and maintain it then only you can understand what is the right time to begin something only in this way they said could he do everything at its proper time others said that it was impossible to decide in advance the right time for doing something so other people said that no it is not possible for us to find out in advance what um, what is the right time to begin something okay so you cannot actually understand when is the right time to begin something in advance the king should notice all that was going on avoid foolish pleasures and always do whatever seem necessary at that time so these men they said that instead of maintaining a time table you should only do the thing which is most important to be done at that moment and do important things only throughout your day and you should avoid any kind of foolish pleasures 
foolish pleasure pleasures might ref, uh, refer to waste of time okay waste of time unnecessarily wasting your time in foolish endeavors for that you should not waste your time you should always do whatever you, it seems is necessary at that moment yet others said that the king needed a council of wise men who would help him act at the proper time this was because one man would find it impossible to decide correctly without help from others the right time for every action so other people said that uh, you should not rely on timetables but rather you should rely on the opinion or the advice of a council of wise men who would tell you at all times what to do okay so this was their advice but then others said that there were some things which could be urgent these things could not wait for the decision of the council in order to decide the right time for doing something it is necessary to look into the future and only magicians could do that the king therefore would have to go to magicians so some other people they were of the opinion that sometimes the council of wise men might tell you to do something advise you to do something but some things might be there like uh, some kind of natural disaster which requires immediate intervention from the king so those kind of things might happen and at that moment what will happen you will have to do that thing which is most urgent right so you cannot rely on these people to make the decisions for you you should rather rely on a magician who can tell the future who can see the future so he can tell you what to do at the proper time because that person can know the future in advance in their answers to the second question some said that the people most necessary to the king were his counselors counselors means the members of the council of the king's council okay so the council of people uh, the members of the council are the counselors those who advises the king on important matters so you should rely on the council members because they are the most important people others said the priests that is some other people said the religious heads the priests they should be the most important people to the king a few others chose the doctors and yet others said that his soldiers were the most necessary few other people said the doctors were the most necessary people and yet few others said that soldiers because they guard our nation so sh they should be the most important people to the king to the third question some said science others said fighting and yet others religious worship so the third question was what is the most important thing for him to do and to the answer uh, the answer to this question was also diverse some people told him that the most important thing for you to do is to um, devote yourself to scientific studies to scientific knowledge some said that you should devote yourself to religion okay and some people said that you should devote yourself to fighting so this was also uh, an answer which nobody could agree upon right as the answers to his questions were so different the king was not satisfied and gave no reward remember he had promised that i will give a large sum of money to anybody who gives me the answer to these questions in a satisfactory manner since they were not able to satisfy the king none of them got the reward now what will the king do next instead he decided to seek the advice of a certain hermit who was widely known for his wisdom don't unmute your call okay who is this mm Tana Zafrin Mondol Moina Ghosh Orchita Roy Why are you unmuting Is it consciously or intentionally are you doing this Don't unmute your call okay remember that tanas okay so then the king decided that instead of seeking the answers to these questions from this people let me go to this hermit who was very famous for his wisdom he decided to visit the hermit he decided to go to the forest where the hermit lived alone okay he decided to go and seek him out 
the hermit lived in a wood the hermit lived in a wood you can't see me I think it's a problem on your part okay just check it so the hermit lived in a wood which he never left okay so he lived in a forest and he never left the forest he never left his shelter he saw no one but simple people and so the king put on ordinary clothes before he reached the hermit's hut the king left his horse with his bodyguard and went on alone okay so he thought that let me go to this hermit and let me go to him and find out the answer to the question but the hermit didn't like meeting people who were in positions of power okay so the king had to dress up as a commoner he had to dress up himself as a simple man a person who belonged to the common strata of society so he thought that i would do that so he put on ordinary clothes before he reached the hermit's hut the king left his horse with his bodyguard and then went to him alone he didn't take his bodyguard or his horse with him as well as the king came near the hermit's hut he saw the hermit digging the ground in front of his hut he greeted the king and continued digging the hermit was old and weak and as he worked he breathed heavily so um, the king reached the hermit's hut and he saw that the hermit was digging the ground okay he was digging the ground and as he was quite old he looked as if he was very much tired okay the king went up to the hermit and said i have come to you wise hermit to ask you to answer three questions how can i learn to do the right thing at the right time who are the people i need most and what affairs are the most important so i have come here to get answers to these three questions then he states the question to the hermit bluntly the hermit listened to the king but did not speak he went on digging you are tired said the king let me take the spade and walk in your place so the hermit did not listen it seemed as if the hermit did not listen to him because he did not show any kind of response to his answer to his questions okay so he went on digging the ground then the king decided that i should help the hermit because it seemed as if he was looking very much exhausted okay then he said that let me take the spade spade you know what a spade is it's a farming equipment it's a tool and work in your place that is please give me the spade and let me do the work thanks said the hermit giving the king his spade then he sat down on the ground when the king had dug two beds he stopped and repeated his questions the hermit gave no answer but stood up stretching out his hand for the spade and said now you rest and let me work now the king had dug two beds just like he was doing and after that beds means a small patch of ground for planting any kind of plants okay so the hermit was sitting for a while but after that he got up and he told the king that now you rest and let me work but the king did not give him the spade and continued to dig one hour passed then another the sun went down behind the trees and at last the king stuck the spade into the ground and said i came to you wise man for an answer to my questions if you can give me no answer tell me so and i will return home that is the king was quite exhausted from his day's labor but he was a person with a good heart okay so he felt pity towards the old man and he wanted to take his place because he thought that he might help him right but the hermit had not responded at all to his questions it was as if he didn't even hear him so the king told him that i had come to you from a distance by traveling a distance because i wanted to get the answer to three questions but if you cannot give me the answers tell me that now and i will leave the hermit instead of responding to him said here comes someone running said the hermit okay so some person was coming towards them in a full speed and the hermit had noticed that and he just commented on that we will find out who that person is and how he interacts with the king okay 
so today we are not going to proceed anymore i hope you understood the portion that we have done today next day we are going to continue with the story and if you have any difficulty in understanding today's portion we can discuss that as well in our next class bye students please leave your name in the chat box okay leave your name in the chat box so that i can mark you as present okay bye